Isn't that great? We've been working on that for a while. I think we finally got it right. Now I'd like to talk, to some, talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, and uh, that's the iPhone. You know, in a few weeks, it's going to be iPhone's first birthday. We shipped our first iPhones on June 29th. And it was an amazing intro, certainly the most amazing one we've ever had. Uh, and iPhone has had tremendous uh, critical acclaim, best invention of the year. Uh, and I think it's widely believed that this is the phone that has changed phones forever. So that's all great. That's all great, but the thing that makes us the happiest <laughs> is that users love their iPhones. <laughs> they love them. And, you know, 90% customer satisfaction. That's off the charts. I mean, what products today have 90% customer satisfaction? This is so wonderful. 98% are browsing. Mobile browsing's gone from nothing to 98% with the iPhone. Unbelievable. 94% are using email, 90% are using text messaging, and 80% are using 10 or more features. You can't even begin to figure out how to use 10 features on a normal phone. <laughs> so this is phenomenal. And in this first year, we have sold 6 million iPhones till we ran out some number of weeks ago. 6 million iPhones. So we're pretty thrilled with this. Now, we did figure out what our next challenges are. The next mountain we have to climb to go to the next level. So what are these next challenges? First of all, 3G networking, faster networking. <laughs> Second of all, enterprise support, as we've heard. Third, third-party application support. Fourth, we need to sell iPhone in more countries. How do we know this? Well, we've sold iPhone in six countries so far, but believe me, they're in use in many more countries. <laughs> they are in use all over the world. And uh, so it's clear there is a demand for iPhones in many more countries. And last but not least, everybody wants an iPhone, but we need to make it more affordable. And we know this because we go out and talk to people who didn't buy iPhones, and the number one reason by far they all want one is they just can't afford it. Some of them can't afford it. So we need to make the iPhone more affordable. So, as we arrive at iPhone's first birthday, we're going to take it to the next level, and today we're introducing the iPhone 3G. We've learned so much with the first iPhone. We've taken everything we've learned and more, and we've created the iPhone 3G. And it's beautiful. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's even thinner at the edges. It's really beautiful. It's got a full plastic back. It's really nice. Solid metal buttons. The same gorgeous 3.5 inch display, camera, flush headphone jack, so you can use any headphones you like, <clears throat> improved audio, dramatically improved audio. It's really, really great, and it feels even better in your hand if you can believe it. 
It's really quite wonderful. The iPhone 3G. Now, how does the iPhone 3G tackle these things? Well, let's take a look. First of all, let's take a look at 3G. Why do you want 3G? Well, you want it for faster data downloads, right? And there's nowhere that you want faster data downloads more than the browser and downloading email attachments. So let's take a look at these first. First, the browser. We've taken an iPhone 3G and on the same phone in the same location, downloaded a website on Edge and downloaded the same website using 3G, and we've captured the videos. So let's see how we do. We're off to the races here. It's a website with a lot of images on it, complex layout. 21 seconds on 3G. All right, 59 seconds on edge. So same phone, same location, 3G 2.8 times faster. But it's even more remarkable when you take a look at this next to Wi-Fi. You can see that the 3G speeds are actually approaching Wi-Fi. This has been my experience using the phone as well. It's amazingly zippy. This is also pretty amazing. We took two other state-of-the-art 3G phones, downloaded the same web pages, and the iPhone 3G is 36% faster than the Nokia N95 or the Treo 750. So that's pretty cool. And look at the result, by the way. <laughs> look at what you get, a full web page on the iPhone and something quite a bit less on some of these other products. 36% faster. So now let's uh, look at a very typical scenario. You've got an email attachment you want to look at. You tap on it. Let's do the same thing here, same phone, same place. The 3G version downloads in five seconds. And the Edge version in 18 seconds, that is 3.6 times faster on the 3G version. So we can see a real difference now of download speeds. And again, if we compare this to Wi-Fi, you'll see that the 3G is approaching Wi-Fi speeds. Now, one other thing that benefits from fast data, of course, is GPS. And we've built that into the new iPhone 3G as well. So 